Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are tailoring this video, we, me, I'm tailoring this video towards the coaches who watch. Um, and it can be players too, but focusing, shifting my hat towards the coaching aspect. Um, we're going to talk about the little things that I focus on as a coach, that my staff focuses on as a group, that we try to focus on as a team um, to help us be successful and take care of the big things, the wins, the goals, etc. So we're going to dive into my little things chart, and I'm going to show you guys what that's all about. So for my McDonough staff and my McDonough team, um, we really try to focus on things that all together combine to hopefully have us be successful and to win and to play our best. Um, some of the areas we like to focus on are making sure we're 100% in our clearing game. Um, we have more ground balls than the other team. We have more draws than the other team. We don't get yellow cards and we limit our turnovers under 10. So those are five things that have nothing to do with goals or saves or assists or anything. But those are areas that we focus on, those kind of gritty plays, those, those things that are small details that are harder to focus on, but if you do them correctly, they make a big difference. So those are some of the things that are on our little things chart. We, I got this idea from Maryland. We had a little things chart and I applied it to McDonough. So now we have our own and we have all sorts of things on there with every single game that we play. Um, wanting to make sure that we have 10, 10 little things that are important to our team and to our staff um, that we have and we calculate each game. And um, after each game, I go through and I see if we got those together. We also have a money, a money stat um, or money column, which is something that we change up every game. So it could be one game, you know, fast start. It could be energy on the bench. It could be who knows what. Um, but that kind of is something that changes every game. It's something that maybe we see in practice or in games prior that we need to work on, but it just helps us stay focused. So I encourage you guys as coaches, whether you want a sticker chart, whether you want to just tally it in your books, um, keep in mind, you know, as you're watching practices and games, focusing on those little things is what helps us take care of the big things. And that's something that I learned most, mostly from Kathy Reese. Some of my other coaches growing up definitely emphasize it but it was a huge, huge point of emphasis during my time at Maryland. Plus you get to have some nice sticker books. So for me, I probably, I try to get the most colorful things for our sticker chart. So I have 1000 totally random, totally rainbow, super colorful, fun and bright stickers series three. So this is what's filling all of our, all of our sticker chart. Um, and it's a good thing to kind of keep players accountable to. So that's what I focus on as a coach. Some of those aspects that don't necessarily um, relate to goals or assists or saves, but definitely contribute to that and the overall wins. Um, so good luck. Hope you enjoy uh, your seasons, focusing on those little things, and let me know how your sticker charting goes.